Well, good morning. Um, we are uh, just wanting to connect with everybody and encourage you as people who call Milton Ulladulla Baptist Church your home. Yes, good morning, everyone. Uh, these are, as you've probably heard like me many times over the last few days, unprecedented times. Yes, they are, but there are things that don't change. And one of the things that doesn't change is that we remain the body of Christ in this place at this time. While there is disconnect as far as geography and, you know, setting ourselves aside into homes, um, hunkering down a bit, we are still connected and we're still part of the body of Christ where you are. We want you to first of all feel that you are still part of this church. You're loved, you're connected. As I've thought about sharing a few thoughts with you this morning, uh, just over a couple of minutes, I came to Philippians chapter 2, where Paul starts off by asking a few questions which all have the answer yes. Is there any encouragement from belonging to Christ? Yes. Any comfort from his love? Yes. Any fellowship together in the spirit? Yes. Are your hearts tender and compassionate? Well, the answer there should be yes, of course, as well. He then goes on to say, Then make me truly happy by agreeing wholeheartedly with each other, loving one another and working together with one mind and purpose. We're going to be trying and working out ways that we can continue to do that in these days but I encourage you to keep loving one another in the midst of all that is going on. Paul goes on in Philippians 2 verse 3 to say, don't be selfish, don't try to impress others, be humble, thinking of others as better than yourselves. Don't look out only for your own interests, but take an interest in others too. And then he goes on to speak about the attitude of Christ, Christ which was a, a, uh, an attitude of humility, that not only did he come to earth and take on flesh, but then it, having taken on flesh, he goes on to take on the cross. I want to urge you as Christian brothers and sisters, in these days, yes, I recognise there's anxiety, there's fears, but to think of others, to be thinking, who can I call? Who can I connect with in some way to encourage them in the midst of what they're going through? Don't just think of your own friendship groups, but think outside the square. How can I be connecting, encouraging, loving others in the midst of what they're going through? And yes, please get out into the yard. Take on some sun as you sit on your deck Take a walk along the beach or in a park. Don't be uh, so concerned to stay indoors all the while. And if anxiety is something that you're finding is welling up within you, then go to Philippians chapter 4 where it says to us, don't worry about anything, but in everything by prayer and request, petition, make, make those requests known to God and his peace will guide your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. We will be connecting as best we can with everybody, and uh, as this next week unfolds, I hope to be able to start um, through YouTube, putting out our uh, sermons each week. Um, we'll be uh, continuing to, to run things uh, as far as meetings, a lot of those uh, via Zoom and other means. Um, but uh, my prayer is that you'll know you're connected, you'll continue to be a functioning part of the church and know that you're loved in the midst of all of this.